uh, it's a uh, pretty around 40 50 year old new zealand government institute of technology with 13000 students spread over two main campuses one in rotorua another one in tauranga so rotorua is known as the most beautiful city of new zealand with 18 lakes and i also live in rotorua so i can show you now i think some of you guys this video is on and there is still a lot of light uh, you may be able to see the view from my house window so if you see this is this is the main lake of uh, rotorua so there are 18 more lakes like this it's beautiful paramdeep ji yeah 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 it's very serene and uh, very nice pictures our so students are, are going 18... to be having this very soon <laughs> yeah yeah so there are 18 more lakes like this and uh, toranga is also equally beautiful uh, that is known as the fastest growing city of new zealand the port of toranga is the biggest seaport in uh, new zealand and the Mount Manganui beach also is the most beautiful beach in Tauranga. So a uh, lot of courses are available in both campuses, but then like engineering diplomas are predominantly in uh, Tauranga. And then a couple of uh, IT grad dip in IT strands, two are in Tauranga, two are in uh, Rotorua. Masters are available in both places, but uh, grad dip in tourism hospitality is available in Rotorua. Grad dip in health rehabilitation, grad dip in infection risk management is available in Rotorua. Master of early childhood, master of uh, mentoring and leadership, master of adult teaching is also in Rotorua. So uh, this is how we have distributed the program. And then later on, once you have individual inquiries, I can tell you where the program is. Most of fees for our program is $19,950 per annum. And second year, we do give a lot of around $5,000 scholarships. So that comes to around $14,950. For level seven, we accept six band with no band less than 5.5 or PT score of 50 with no module less than 42. For level eight and nine, it is 6.5 with no band less than six or PT score of 58 with no module less than 50. For level four and five diplomas, it is 5.5 with no module less than five or PT score of 42. Bachelor's degree also is six band. So we have Bachelor of Hospitality, Bachelor of IT, Bachelor of Management, Bachelor of Science also. We have Cochrane Diploma, <coughs> Bakery, Hospitality, Applied Wood Manufacturing, Forestry, Science. Uh, all these diplomas are available. So when you come to New Zealand, uh, the one thing you need to be prepared because you are coming from a cramming based system. Um, and uh, New Zealand is competency assessment based system. What it means is whatever we teach you, we make sure that you apply that practically so that it becomes permanent in your head. So this is a practical way of learning. So in class, uh, normally it is between 20 to 30 students. If you don't understand anything in class, you can ask question 10 times. If you still don't understand, there are tutorials also held, which is a small group of students. Then also you can ask a lot of questions. Then we have learning advisors, which gives you one-on-one -on -one tuition free of course. So that way there is a lot of academic support available for students. Then we have career and employability cell, which starts working with you from the day one, help you in writing CV, help you in preparing for the interview. Then we circulate your CV to all the Chamber of Commerce members. And then we send you to different places also for uh, part-time jobs. And we help you with the full-time job also. We do organize a speed dating with the employer also. So that department is also available. The whole campuses are Wi-Fi, internet is free to your, the, all the students, both places have the gymnasium also. Tauranga has swimming pool. Rotorua has lawn tennis and cricketing nets also. So it is available for $120 for the whole year. That is a subsidized race. Local transportation is also subsidized for the student. You get in $100, you get 100 trips passes also, which you can avail. And uh, Rotorua, we have our own hostel. In Tauranga, we have boarding houses or students do the flatting. So the cost varies between $150 to $200. And you can work 20 hours uh, per week on part-time basis. Uh, minimum salary in New Zealand is $18.90. So when you work 20 hours, that means you get around $370 per week salary. So as I mentioned, if you stay in a hostel, then comes the cost with food, electricity, and everything comes to around $200. You're still able to save $170. If you stay in a um, um, flatting or something, like four students can stay in a two-bedroom flat, then it comes to around $150 with food and everything. So you save, that means $220 also. So there are a lot of jobs also. Kiwi fruit jobs is almost sure for everybody. 
other people work in McDonald's, supermarkets, cleaning companies, motels, uh, and old age home retirement village. A couple of our students have set up the cleaning companies. They hire 50, 60 students. So that way there is a lot of our alumni network is also there. So there is one uh, Gurudwara also in Rotorua and one Swaminarayan temple also. Same in Taranga also, there is the one Vishnu temple and two Sikh Gurudwaras also. So there is a spiritual support also available for all the students. So on the whole, it is a very good experience. You get good academic environment in the institution and you get very safe and beautiful um, environment in the cities. And then you get uh, social support also from the community because we have around there are 4,000 uh, people, Indian people in Rotorua and there are around 15,000 in Taranga. So um, depending on where you go. So the social support is also available. So that's basically from me about the general introduction. And uh, other thing, like I know a lot of people have this thing in mind. You, Although I'm not a licensed immigration advisor because for regarding PR only, they can give the advice, but I can still tell you something which is available on the New Zealand immigration website, that if you do one year of grad dip, you get two year of open work permit. And in that, once you get a job related to your qualification with a salary of around $52,000, then you become eligible for PR. If you do one year of postgraduate or 18 months of master, you get three year of post-study work visa. And then same thing applies. You need to get a, a skill related job uh, related to your qualification. And in master, the advantage is spouse also get full-time work rights. And you have a kids five year and above, their primary and secondary education is free. If you do two years of diploma, and if it finishes by 31st of December, you still get two year of post-study work visa. If you th do three year of bachelor degree or even even one and a half with, if you have gotten some cross credit, you still get three year of post-study work visa. And again, you need to find a job related to your qualification. The salary has to be $52,000 and your IELTS has to be 6.5 overall. Then you become eligible to apply for PR. So you will learn all these things. We keep on having a regular sessions with immigration also when you come here. So we normally have one session in April, one in September. So immigration manager comes to our institute. Being a government institute, they are very supportive of our, us and our students. So they come to the institute, they deliver the lectures, they tell how the students should come into this study, work, and uh, uh, PR pathway. So they explain it properly to all the students. So you will get all those services once you come and study with us.